Today I want to address the question of ringing and buzzing and unusual sensations in the ears. There are a lot of people who are having this experience lately and it's increasing. More people are hearing things and uh, those who do have these sensations are hearing them more often and sometimes with a greater intensity. So we are, as human beings, sensory creatures. We are flesh and bone, flesh and bone, you know, we're soul and spirit wearing a meat suit <laughs> and because of this and because we are so firmly entrenched in the experience of being three-dimensional and being physical, we tend to respond to everything only through our senses. We only uh, believe something is there if we see it with our eyes. We um, judge what we want to eat by how the taste uh, is experienced when we put it in our mouths. We are extremely responsive to scent. And the vibration of these sensations shows up in this physical expression that we can identify through our senses. Taste, touch, sound. As we begin to understand and recognize who we are beyond the physical, we realize that when we have a physical sensation, there's a whole experience within that experience. So we're not simply noticing that we have a pain in our back. So, oh, there's that sensation. There's that, I must have pulled that muscle. Or I'm not sitting correctly. Uh, that feels really uncomfortable. It's sharp, it's stinging, or it's an ache. However we choose to describe what we're experiencing, we tend to remain on that physical plane. And the interpretation we take from what we feel. If we take a moment during that sensation of perhaps that back pain, and we allow ourselves to drop into it beyond who we are on the physical plane. So we allow ourselves, for example, to consider that the pain in our back can actually speak to us. It has a presence. It has an energy. It has a, um, a voice and, uh, and a message. There's a reason that it's come to us and it has something to say. As soon as we consider this as a possibility that we can listen on this level and hear on this level, the sensation itself will begin to change. No longer is it simply something that is being done to us, it becomes something that's an exchange, something we're engaged with. And there is a potency to it because there's meaning. hurting because it has something to say to me. It's uh, a, a, a really a good idea for me to try and tune into that and to hear it. Because once I hear it, the way I perceive this is that once the, the lesson is learned, the teacher can go home. Our physical forms are, above all, expressions of our energetic being. And they, they literally really show up that way. You, you, you're old enough like me to remember the Star Trek series um, when it was a TV show. And the way the that, way they, that showed they showed um, the, 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 the transporter, you know, the body standing and then turning into a whole pile of particles and then showing up on a planet somewhere and then suddenly uh, reappearing as all these particles took shape. They're actually really right on with that description. So um, that formation of energy coming into form and taking shape is exactly what's going on. So I, you know, I might look like Addy. I'm actually uh, a bundle of vibrating particles that have taken on a particular shape, a particular presence, a particular personality to represent 
and to present in three-dimensional form. So the sensations that come to us, you know, here I am in my vibrating bundle, there you are in your vibrating bundle, being whoever you are, whoever you've chosen to represent yourself as in this world, in this life perspective. So we take a little bit of a step back. So I'm not just the meat suit. I am the vibration that has chosen a form to represent a communication that is energetic, it's vibrational, it's electrical. Then every aspect of me has purpose and is ready to be integrated with its purpose and meaning uh, on this karmic journey. And when my back speaks to me, it speaks as a support and an assist to me. It has a very clear message. And when I hear that message, the pain is free to, uh, to dissipate, to dematerialize because it's no longer needed. All of our senses work this way. All of our senses are really here to support us and try and find ways to help us tune in to what is actually going on on a level that far surpasses what we see in the mirror or what we perceive when we look at others around us. And as we dare to begin to consider that this is how we are functioning on the planet and this is who we are, examples of these teachings and of these expressions begin to show up. The sensations that we have in our ears are one example of this. As vibrational beings, of course, we are not separate from one another, nor are we separate from source. Nor are we separate from other kinds of beings and other energy forms that play a very significant and intentional role in our development. So just as uh, in a human family, each individual within that family may have a role in their relationship. So we might have a, a family so we might where have a, a family. the father's engagement with his children has to do with awakening their physicality. He likes to wrestle with them or roll with them or call them outside to play a game. He might be the one that takes a stronger hand if there's uh, an infraction of a rule. The mother's role, and then, you know, I'm being very traditional here, but uh, the mother's role might show up as uh, being the nurturer as being the, you know, she represents the feminine, so she's the one who embraces, who pulls in, who provides nourishment. The, the children might play the role of shifting the dynamic between the two parents, of relating individually to each parent separately, of showing up to draw these capacities for expansion and nurturing and discipline out of the parents. And they're all completely interactive. Well, we are not alone in this world as human manifestations of our vibration we are not alone and we're not uh, separate from everything that's going on in our vibrational family and many of the transmissions i receive describe describe us as children describe we human beings as the as the universe's children ch the children of creator the children of other beings and other energies and as such we are often guided we are given instructions, we are given support, we are given uh, infusions of energy which uplift us and assist us to step into the next higher or more expansive vibration of who we are. There are many ways this shows up in our lives. These messages, which I think of them as, that come into our hearing, these sensations where suddenly there's a sound which is exceptional. It really draws our attention to us and, it, and uh, to the sound. And it may be um, unexpected. It may be out of context. Uh, it may also be very direct and very clear. If we take time, instead of simply saying, this sound is um, a physical problem, 
that may, you know, it's something, oh, there's something wrong with my ear, or, um, you know, or, oh, I'm stressed, or um, I have a headache coming on, or, you know, a board's tinnitus, or there is something that's uh, organically showing up in the physical form. If we consider instead, if we dare to open the consciousness to a different way of seeing that this is our energetic family and that this is in fact what I think of as an, as an attunement, um, an infusion, um, an upgrade, uh, an opportunity for nourishment and that, that it is a vibration that one aspect of our physical senses is picking up and digesting, ingesting, um, and practicing alchemy upon to integrate with the physical experience going forward from that moment in time. We do have to let go of things being linear. We have to let go of things being purely physical that we separate from the energetic and the spiritual, from the material and the physical and the scientific over here. These days are all The more you allow yourself to surrender to your own awareness of what's being offered you, the teachings that are coming, the expressions that are being offered to you, the more you will feel them and feel them deeply and feel them in expressions that are um, more easily digestible, less uncomfortable because we are listening to the teacher. We are engaged with the flow of the communication. We are not being victimized by something. We've invited something and it's been offered to us and we get a chance to experience it. The next time you hear one of these sounds, um, stop, stop what you're doing and listen. Listen not only to the sound, but listen to the vibration of the sound. Listen to the sensation that goes through your whole body. Listen to your heart in the moment that you're hearing this and pay attention to what emotional uh, expressions and teachings are attached to the vibrational experience that's arriving in auditory form. If nothing specific is clear to you, that still doesn't stop you from surrendering to a non-specific, but very fascinating and beautiful experience. You may notice, okay, there's, a, I suddenly felt very awake, like I'd been, like I'd taken a vitamin or um, like something had been brought into my awareness or my consciousness. It's enough because that's exactly what's happening. Uh, you are being asked to listen, but you're being asked to listen on a level that goes beyond language. It's a different form. It has a very specific potency and it does have meaning and purpose. We don't always have to know why, but we do have to know that we're safe. And we do have to know that the more we surrender to this experience and the more we trust it, the more likely it will integrate with what is going on, going on with us on an energetic and a physical level. I had a very profound uh, message brought to me by uh, a sudden very piercing tone in my, right. in my right ear recently. And it, it, what I noticed was there was an immediate warmth. There was an actual heat. What I noticed was that it expanded. It was almost like something was inserted in my ear and given to me and then it, it, and it opened like a flower. I noticed that um, I didn't want to do anything else while I was hearing it. I wanted to simply be with it. I also noticed that I could feel a resonance from it moving through my whole body and in particular with my awareness. So I, I wanted to be still. I wanted to receive it. I wanted to communicate with it and allow it to express in me. Uh, and afterwards there was an ease that came into my movements and my thoughts for the balance of my day. I believe that my energetic parent had something to say to me, and I'm grateful. Lots of love.